Welcome to the Pocket and Tablet Handicapper tutorial. This session will concentrate on the race cards for thoroughbred and quarter horse racing. We will first look at the Pocket Handicapper and then briefly touch on the Tablet Handicapper. When you launch the app, the main menu will appear. You can tap on the thoroughbred or harness buttons to choose which breed you want to handicap. Those who handicap quarter horse races will find the race cards in the thoroughbred section. The default setting is thoroughbred as shown here with a darker brown button. Harness users, you can go into settings and tap on the harness button to set up harness as the default. My race cards gives you access to any files you have downloaded. Download race cards will display the files available to download. Today's scratches is available for thoroughbred races only and it gives the latest track conditions, weather conditions, and reported scratches and changes. If a horse is scratched, it will be noted on the various screens as well. The settings screen allows you to enter your ID and password and personalize the way the data is displayed to you. Choosing download race cards displays all the files that are available for download. The default is for the sorting to be by track as shown here. You can also choose to see the available downloads by race date by tapping the date button. The display will look as it is shown here. After you download a race card, the races will appear on the screen. From any of the screens, tapping on the menu icon in the upper right hand corner will produce a menu that allows you to go to the main menu, update scratches, go to settings, or get help for the screen you are currently accessing. If you want to switch race cards or come back to the program and want to view a card you have previously downloaded, you want to choose My Race Cards. They can be sorted by track or date and also alphabetically. Settings allows you to customize the way the data is displayed. You can choose the initial views that best suit your needs. After downloading a race card or choosing a card from the My Race Card screen, the race card will open and all of the races for the day are displayed. Tapping on one of the rows of the race numbers will open the information for that particular race. The Home tab is the first screen that appears after launching a race. You can access other information regarding the race by choosing any of the tab icons at the bottom of the screen. Information on this screen includes each horse's power rating, some pace information, and relevant comments about each horse. You can go into settings to change how the horses are sorted and set which pace information is displayed. The snapshot tab displays each horse's power rating, wins and starts at today's distance and surface, weight carried today, and morning line odds. A plus sign, the letter L or letter B, can be appended to the morning line odds. All of those symbols point to a possible good bet today. The pace tab gives detailed pace information for every horse. The buttons above the data display allow you to choose either pace figures or pace running style. You can also choose between an all races slash distance surface display or a view broken down by sprints or routes. You can choose the initial default view and settings. The PPs tab gives an abbreviated view of the past performances for each horse. Tapping on a horse's information on the PPs tab brings up the trainer, sire, jockey, and dam information. Tapping on one of the names displayed will bring up detailed information for that participant. The trainer information is displayed here as an example of the statistics that can be obtained. You can also access this data from the Home tab. The PDF PPs tab gives the condensed past performances in a PDF format. You can use your fingers to enlarge the view to make the PPs more readable. You can then move the PDF page around to view different parts of the running line. Turning the phone sideways to view in landscape mode lets you view more information on the screen. Everything we have covered for the Pocket Handicapper can be found in the Tablet Handicapper. The only difference is that the navigation for the Tablet Handicapper has been optimized for an iPad or an Android tablet. The PDF PPs are also much easier to read on a tablet versus the small screen of a smartphone. Thanks for checking out our Pocket and Tablet Handicapper tutorial. Be sure to use the help guide in the app to get even more information. The Pocket and Tablet Handicapper apps are quick and handy tools to use for getting winners, no matter where you happen to be. Good luck.